um, online, so then I will finally say a few words myself. Uh, Ms. Langinia and Mr. Verze, I have heard very carefully what you presented today, and I hear your message, but I have difficulties actually sharing your rather optimistic assessment of the situation in Tanzania. Ms. Langina, mm. you said, despite all the positive developments apparently in Tanzania, there were, quote, some shortcomings, unquote. And Mr. Vezier, you said, not everything is perfect in Tanzania. Now, I have dealt a lot with Tanzania. I'm in contact with many brave men and women in that country. And we're still in a situation, even under the new president, where leaders, members, and supporters of the opposition, something which is totally normal in democracies in Europe, but isn't normal in Africa, that members, supporters, and leaders of opposition every day are facing harassment, illegal detention, intimidation, and persecution. Are these really, Ms. Laringinia, some shortcomings? Question mark. Do you believe that the opposition in the moment is able to conduct their political activities uninterrupted? If yes, please describe us how. If not, what is the European Union actually doing to improve the situation apart from sending messages. Ms. Langinia, would the External Action Service share the view which many observers have shared and stated that the case against Freeman Mbui, the leader of the opposition, is politically motivated and has no legal foundation to be in the court of law? I read with interest that representatives from the American and British embassies in Dar es Salaam were present at the court trial, were also representatives of the EU present. You mentioned that you've met Tindu Lisu in Brussels as a leader of the Tanzanian opposition. Well, Mr. Lisu is in the fortunate position, or to be more precise, in the unfortunate position of having to live in Belgium. You cannot meet Mr. Mbui, the leader of Chadema, because he's in prison. So I ask you, has the European Union called upon President Saluhu Hassan to unconditionally release Freeman Mbui and other Chadema leaders detained in different prison remands forthwith? And finally, Mr. Verzi and Mrs. Ms. Laranginia, from your point of view, what are the necessary steps that can guarantee fundamental principles we as European Union fight for all over our globe, for freedom, for justice, peace and security? What steps are necessary and what are we actually doing? And especially the substantial support we as European Union give to Tanzania, and this is, by the way, taxpayers' money of EU citizens, is this, as other colleagues have asked, is this connected to any kind of conditionality, or are you still continuing business as usual, as you have done over all these years in Tanzania, and you are sending messages? I want you to answer these questions very precisely, please, because in the other case, I would once again have to write letters like after the last meeting, and I would like to avoid that. Thank you very much. The floor is yours, Ms. Laranginia.